This is ANSYS Workbench. This is the tool that I use for every CFD application as well as FBA application that's finite elemental analysis. This is a phenomenal tool, very well rounded. On the basic levels, it can model the structural analysis of anything from a simple beam to a full building structure. It can model the fluid dynamics of an airfoil cross section all the way to a complete plane or even the inside of a jet turbine. It's a phenomenal tool. And today, I'm going to show you how to download it for free. First, go onto any browser, type this URL into the search bar, or click the link in the description to this video. It'll take you to this page where you'll see this download ANSYS student button. The year will be whatever year you happen to be doing this in. Click that button, and then the free version of ANSYS downloads. And that's it. Now once you have this downloaded, you can go back to this page, scroll down, and you'll find a full YouTube channel that the company who built ANSYS has to run you through all the basics of how to use the tool. There's a lot of different things on this channel from finite elemental analysis to CFD simulations, basics on how to mesh. It's a very thorough description of how to use this incredibly powerful tool. So I highly recommend at least sifting through this YouTube playlist. Now you might be thinking, this is the student version. This isn't the full or professional version. And that's true. There is one primary difference. And that's the fact that when you go to make a mesh for the thing that you're modeling, you have an upper bound cap on the number of mesh elements that you're allowed to have. What that means is that certain simulations where you're modeling a much larger body or you have a much more narrow area in that body that you really need very detailed data from, you might not be able to get that level of precision that you would with the professional version. However, the student version is still very capable. The upper limit is more than you'll need in most applications, at least that you'll be using in any classroom setting or in most project settings that we do at the university. So this is a very powerful tool. It's going to be more than you need for the time being. And then once you go into the workforce to work with the professional version, you'll already know how to do most of what that version does from going through the student version. Now, one important thing to keep in mind when you're downloading ANSYS, student or professional, is that it's an extremely large file. What you download from the website is a nearly 10 gigabyte zip file. Already, that's a lot of storage space that you need to have available just to download it. But once you have it downloaded, you have to unzip that file before you can use any of the tools in there. If you don't know what that means on a technical level, that's fine. In practice, all you really have to do is right click and then click unzip. But when you unzip the file, it's a 33 gigabyte file. And not that many people have 33 gigabytes just sitting around on their computer. I certainly didn't. No, I already had Autodesk Inventor, which itself takes up about eight gigabytes of space on top of any of the other apps I already have on my computer, it was pretty full of stuff. So it wasn't gonna fit that 33 gigabytes of storage space. So what I did is I got this external hard drive right here. It has a lot more storage space than my laptop on its own does. So I'm able to plug this in, download ANSYS to the external hard drive, unzip it in the external hard drive, set it up and everything. And now ANSYS Workbench is saved to my external hard drive. So now I just have to plug it in it's a USB to USB connection, and then run ANSYS off of that hard drive. And in my experience, there's been zero slowdown as a result of it. Everything loads just the same way ANSYS loads. Sometimes it's kind of slow, but the speed of ANSYS is going to be a lot more dependent on the RAM capabilities of your computer. I recently had to upgrade the RAM capabilities of my laptop. So that plus this hard drive, I'm able to run ANSYS pretty smoothly without having to delete basically everything off of my laptop to actually download the app. And that is how to get ANSYS Student on your computer for free. This is one of the most widely used CFD and FBA softwares in the industry. If you have any desire to do aerospace engineering projects or mechanical engineering projects or even civil engineering projects, there is going to be a lot of different uses for this incredibly powerful tool. If you want to see more about how you can use this tool as applied to engineering projects, or you just want to see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis doing aerospace engineering projects using CFD software in ANSYS, go ahead and follow and click on the next video.